Warning. Palace confirmed unexpected sad news, Queen in danger if Chris Packham plans go ahead. A request by former BBC Autumn Watch presenter Chris Packham to rewild the royal estates by reintroducing species like bears and wolves has been chased down by politicians who fear for the Queen's safety. A former government minister has howled at plans to rewild the royal estate's land, because he is worried the Queen might come face to face with a wolf or bear while walking her corgis. TV environmentalist Chris Packham has recently been calling on the royal family to reintroduce rare animal species to its estates. In October, he delivered a petition signed by around 100,000 people which demanded that the royal family improve the ecological condition of its thousands of acres of land. Mr. Packham was joined by 100 children striking from school, according. But Lord Marland, who once served as Minister at the Department of Energy and Climate Change, spoke out against the idea on Monday during a debate on the Animal Welfare Sentience Bill. Blasting Chris Packham's proposal, he told the House of Lords, Imagine going out of Balmoral with your corgis and being confronted by a bear and a wolf. I mean, what sort of people are we listening to? Most of us are terrified of someone like Chris Packham, for example. Conservative peer Lord Rabathan joined in with the criticism, saying that Mr. Packham's comments highlighted why animals rights campaigners or nobody without knowledge should be appointed to a committee which will soon be scrutinizing the bill. Taking aim at the former Autumn Watch presenter, he added, by that I mean somebody who thinks he has a lot of knowledge, such as Chris Packham, but does not actually have any knowledge of living off the work with animals. Tory peer Viscount Ridley later asked for assurances that Chris Packham would be excluded from the committee leading Chris Packham to hit back on Twitter. He wrote, It appears the right honourable gentleman with interests in fracking and coal mining and the former chair of Northern Rock, when it collapsed, is frightened that real conservationists might be trying to improve standards of wild animal welfare. Why? It is estimated that the royal family owns 1.4% of land in England, making it the biggest landowner in the country. Bears are thought to have gone extinct in the UK just over 1,000 years ago, while wolves were still being hunted in forests near Nottingham by King Henry VI in the 15th century. The Queen still enjoys a glass of wine with dinner after reports suggested she had given up her daily dry martini, a royal sommelier has said. Last month, it was reported that Her Majesty gave up the martini as many speculated why she would be cutting down on her alcohol consumption. Royal sommelier Dimitri Walters has told, it's bad for her joints, and she can't drink too much when she's doing all these royal engagements, it's not a job you can drink in. Dimitri clarified the 95-year-old monarch hasn't given up alcohol completely. He says she still drinks a glass of wine with her meal but she's very selective about the vintage. He added, I choose for the Queen, but she's quite exacting, as she doesn't drink much wine at the moment. Dimitri advises the royal family on wine pairings as well as works with Michelin-starred chefs on their menus, including Michel Roux Jr. He also spoke about how he turned into a beer sommelier for Prince Philip. It is said the Queen enjoys a few drinks during the day, including a gin and Dubonnet before lunch, a glass of sweet German wine with her dinner, and previously, a dry martini before bed. It comes after the Queen has told her family she is well enough to host Christmas at Sandringham after recovering from a back sprain. The monarch, 95, assured them she is feeling far better and is looking forward to the traditional festive get-together at her Norfolk estate. Concern for the Queen's health has been heightened in recent weeks after she pulled out of a number of major engagements.